So I was browsing Reddit the other day, as I am known to do, and I came across this amazing thread in the Sister Wives subreddit asking people to share what their potentially unpopular Sister Wives opinions were. This thread popped off and I will link it in the description of this video. I thought, let's go through some of these opinions and I'll see if I concur or if I respectfully disagree. This should be a lot of fun. We have a lot to talk about. Let's get into today's video. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. This thread in the Sister Wives subreddit got a ton of comments. It got hundreds of responses. So let's take a look and see what some people had to say were their unpopular Sister Wives opinions. Okay, so the first one we have here says, the show is pointless and boring. Honestly, this kind of comment makes me chuckle. Sure, I can agree that Sister Wives is not constantly popping off with drama and jaw-dropping moments. I think for the most part, the Sister Wives community has recognized that Sister Wives as a show is kind of a slow burn. I think for a lot of us, we've become invested in this family, so I definitely disagree. I don't think that the show is pointless, but I will concede that some of the episodes definitely could be categorized as boring. But the irony is not lost on me here that someone who claims the show is pointless is actually in a Sister Wives subreddit that has over 100,000 people talking about the show. All right, so the next opinion that we have here says, Mitch is a little creepy. What? So for anyone who doesn't know, Mitch is Aspen's husband. They got married in season 13, which was the season that was, it was kind of chaotic actually, because this was when Cody was making that hard sell to move to Flagstaff. So Mitch and Aspen actually get married amongst all this chaos. I don't find Mitch to be creepy. Am I missing something? Mitch's sister is Vanessa Aldridge. And she, along with her family, appeared on a couple seasons of Seeking Sister Wife. Honestly, her husband, Jeff, could be described as a little bit creepy, in my opinion. If you guys watch Seeking Sister Wife and you remember the Aldridges, you might remember that they courted this woman named Jennifer, who literally faked her own death to get away from them. All right, so the next opinion we have here says, Mary still had an affair, even if it was a catfish. Hard agree with this opinion. And honestly, I didn't even realize that this was a controversial opinion, but I've actually talked about how I think that Mary did in fact have an affair. And I will get comments taking issue with me classifying what Mary did as an affair. I do get what some people point out like, hello, Cody is over here sleeping with multiple women. But plural wives for Cody is something that all of these women signed up for. Cody did not sign up for Mary having multiple partners. I believe that two things can be true at once here. We obviously can all sympathize with Mary and recognize what led her to have an emotional affair. I mean, she was horribly treated by Cody and several of the other family members. So it's understandable that she sought out an emotional connection outside of the family but at the same time, we can also call it what I think it is, an affair, an emotional affair, but an affair nonetheless. Alrighty, so the next opinion that we come to says, I think all of the adults are messed up. Okay, honestly, I am not surprised that there is a whole heap ton of generational trauma to unpack for all of these family members. But this opinion actually kind of goes in with this next opinion that I saw. And that opinion states, the fandom is an echo chamber of Robin and Cody hate and refuse to acknowledge that Janelle and Christine played an equal role in the demise of the family. So I'm not sure if this person is specifically talking about parenting or relationship wise, but if we are gonna talk about parenting, I will agree that 
all of the parents have made questionable parenting choices over the years. Also, the bar for parenting on this show is on the floor. I think we can all agree that the best parenting on this show that we've seen came from Aspen and Logan. And that just really sums up everything you need to know about what is wrong with the five adults parenting styles. If you're leaving the good parenting to your children. However, I do think that Janelle, Mary, and Christine in these later years are trying to make up for these questionable parenting choices that they've made in the past. And I feel like for the most part, they're trying to own that. So I think that that's why they get afforded more grace by the fandom, whereas Cody and Robin just don't see anything wrong with anything that they're doing ever. So these next opinions kind of go together. Someone commented, McKelty isn't like the worst person to ever exist. And then another person commented, people are too hard on Tony. I'm not a stan or anything, but people are downright dicks about him. This, I will admit, is an unpopular opinion for sure. And I actually agree with both of these comments. Honestly, I don't envy the position that McKelty finds herself in. She is trying to have a relationship with her father. Whether or not we think that that is worth her time or not, she clearly thinks it is. So she's trying to have a relationship with her dad. She's trying to have a relationship with the rest of her family. She's trying to have a relationship with her Patreon members. So the struggle I can appreciate is very real. I also think that sometimes Tony's takes are a little bit off, but I think Tony and McKelty at the end of the day, I think that they're both well-intentioned. Alrighty, so the next opinion. This one says that Janelle isn't the financial expert she was portrayed to be on the show. The trailer purchase, putting Cody's name on her Coyote Pass lot, agreeing to pay off Robin's credit card debt, renting for the last five years in Flagstaff. In this group of people who have historically made terrible financial decisions, it wasn't hard for Janelle to rise to the top being that she was the only adult who seemed to ever give a care or a second thought to how much is this going to cost us? Also, I'm pretty sure she was the only adult in this family that actually knew how to file taxes. So that automatically made her the bookkeeper and financial wizard of the group. But I have to agree, it is freaking sad to see that the one adult who did seem to actually care about finances, care if they actually could afford what they were trying to do, is the one who seems to be the most screwed here in 2024. All of her assets are tied up with Cody. She has nothing independently to her name except for the RV. I think we can all agree that we hope Janelle gets what's rightfully hers. All right, so moving on to the next opinion we have. Robin didn't really want the OG3 out. She just wanted to be the head wife. I hard agree with this, and I've always said, Robin never wanted to be the only wife. She wanted to be the favorite wife. Also, Robin's lifestyle is not sustainable just based on a two-person household income. She needs a plural wives amount of revenue streams, but she only wanted sister wives for the sister wives' monies because she's not actually interested in having relationships with these people. All right, moving on to the next opinion. Christine is insufferable and Janelle is an ineffective bump on a log. Oof, this one is really coming out swinging. Christine has her moments, and we know that Janelle has been our unbothered queen staying pretty consistent over the past 18 seasons. I mean, I just called them queens. As a fandom, we have elevated both of these women to queen status. And I think that that is in large part because we are just so excited to see all of the OG3 stand up for themselves, stop taking Cody's crap, stop taking Robin's crap, and demand some respect both for themselves and for their children. So that's not to say that either one of these ladies are without faults. I mean, shoot, we all have faults. But when you're being compared to Cody and Robin, it's damn near impossible to not come out smelling like a rose. All right, let's move on to our next opinion. 
I'm new here, so I don't know if this is controversial, but I was disappointed to see Christine get married to David. She never had much time to be a single person before marrying Cody, and once she got away from the family a bit and had an empty nest coming up, she went and attached herself to another man. I have read a lot of people echoing this exact sentiment. And this one's a hard one for me. On the one hand, I do understand where this person is coming from. I personally would have loved to have seen a Sister Wives single life edition where we followed Mary Janelle and Christine out there dating around. I would have loved to have seen that. But on the other hand, Christine is in her 50s now. I don't know if Christine was ever really interested in just dating around. I think Christine has always wanted just one man to settle down with, someone that she is free to be her authentic self around. And I think that she really has found that in David. I honestly think for Christine, it was as simple as when you know, you know, and that just happened to happen quickly for her. All right. And the last opinion that I'll react to says Mary is worse than Robin. Hot take. And I'm just kind of wondering how so. I mean, if you go back and you read the book, it sounds like in the early years, Mary was pretty gnarly. Janelle and Christine equally don't have any interest in having an ongoing relationship with Mary, just like they don't really have an interest in having any kind of future relationship with Robin. So in that respect, I guess I would call it a draw. Now, when it comes to the kids, literally nobody wants to have a relationship with Robin except for McKelty. Now, when it comes to Mary, we've had Madison, McKelty, and Peyton all speak out about Mary's harsh parenting tactics. But I have noticed that a lot of kids are warm towards Mary. We do see Mary pop up in photos on some of the kids' social media accounts from time to time. Mary's at most weddings and other family events. So I, I don't know in regards to the kids, which one's worse. Is Mary worse or is Robin worse? Peyton, for example, actually credits Robin with saving them from Mary and her harsh parenting. So... I don't know. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts on all of these opinions we just went through and add your own. What are your potentially unpopular opinions regarding Sister Wives? Let me know all that down in the comments. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Check out my second channel, Sarah Spills. A link for that will be in the description of this video. Follow me on Instagram threads and X at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love.